All right, so I want to do a quick demo on how to use Lightroom and Perfect Photo Suite 8 in conjunction with each other and also how to do some simple file management uh, within Lightroom. So the first part of this demo is I want to show how to take this picture and turn it into that picture using Perfect Photo Suite 8. So we're going to have Lightroom talking to Perfect Photo Suite 8 and we'll go from Lightroom into Perfect Photo Suite and then back into Lightroom and it's all dynamically linked. So let's start with with this photo and what we're going to do is um, we're going to open this photo inside of Perfect Photo Suite 8 from within Lightroom. So there are two ways to do this. The best way to do it is to go to File, Plugin Extras and then choose Perfect Photo Suite 8. The other way to do it is to go to Photo, Edit In and you'll see in here that you don't have Perfect Photo Suite 8 as an option necessarily. You have the, some of the modules within Perfect Photo Suite 8, but you don't have uh, the full Perfect Photo Suite 8 package in here. So by going File, Plugin Extras, and choosing Perfect Photo Suite 8, you'll have access to all the tools within Perfect Photo Suite 8, and I'll show you those tools here in a second. So let's go ahead and open up Perfect Photo Suite 8. All right, Perfect Photo Suite 8 is similar to Lightroom in that it has a lot of modules up here. So we want to first remove that entire sky and replace it with a new sky. And uh, Perfect Photo Suite 8 makes this really easy. If you go to Mask, and let that load. All right. There's a button you can push to simply remove the background which sounds crazy, but if I push this, all right, it removes the background. Done. I'm done. <laughs> so uh, if I zoom in here and take a look, you'll see it's done a pretty good job of just simply removing that sky, and the sky is gone. You know, so you can zoom around in here and click around in here, and it, it did a really good job of, of keeping some of those tree details on top of the mountain, but removing the entire sky and leaving behind a essentially a mask. That's what it's done. So we're done with that. And what we want to do now is put a new sky in what the old kind of dull looking sky was. So let's go back to layers. It will apply the effect. Okay. And we want to add the new layer, the new sky in here. So Perfect Photo Suite 8 comes bundled with some different backgrounds you can use. So we'll go to User Extras, uh, Backgrounds. There's this Liz's Beautiful Day Backgrounds. And let's just grab this sky, drag it, drop it on our image, and it will say, what do you want to do with this file you just dropped onto your image? Do you want to actually edit the file? No. Do you want to edit the original file? No. Do you want to add it as a layer? Yes, I do. So we'll say OK. And you'll notice, just like in Photoshop, you'll see that it's added a new layer. And we can now drag this behind our original image. So let's click on that layer. Click on our new sky, reposition it. OK. Looks pretty good. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is start adjusting the actual image of the mountain. So let's click on that layer. We'll apply the transformation. All right. If I click on this layer and I choose some of these modules within uh, Perfect Effect or Perfect Photo Suite 8, uh, I can adjust just the mountains and not this sky image. So let's go to uh, Enhance. All right. We can do some simple contrast adjustments. Maybe some temperature adjustments, something like that. Add some detail. Not so much. And you can see it's kind of it's changing the image. It's looking better. And if we wanted to, we can actually say, all right, well, I like that. Let's go into some of the effects. It'll apply those those enhancements. And then within Perfect Effects. The effects module of Perfect Effects, you have all these presets over here, or you can actually just start adding your own, just building your own. It's already added an empty layer, 
And here's some of your some of your filters. So you can do some more contrast, maybe. Throw some of that in there. Uh, this is your detail right here, so maybe that's too much. Because I already did add some contrast earlier and some detail. And you can just play in here and you know see what you like. And then over here you have some presets that you can choose from if you want. Uh, we can do maybe a landscape preset. Something like that. Really boost some of these colors up there a little bit. You know, something like that looks pretty cool. Maybe that's too much. Maybe you want to turn some of these things off. Turn the layer off. You know, so it's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll turn that off. Keep the vignette. All right, so suppose we're done with that. We like the look of that. Let's go ahead and apply it. All right, here's all of our layers back in there again. And we'll say save. Okay, and we'll go ahead and close that. Let's go back into Lightroom. Lightroom is going to figure out, oh, okay, you just added a new image. So we started with that, and we ended with this. It looks pretty cool. Now, you can do more with this. You're in Lightroom, of course, so you can add more contrast if you want to. Maybe something like that. You know, do some more changes. Add another vignette if you want. All right. All right, so that file looks pretty good. Um, now, uh, Perfect Photo Suite has created a PSD file, and that PSD file is pretty big. Let's actually go take a look and see how large this file is. That would be here. It's going to be in here. All right, so here's the file that uh, Perfect Photo Suite created. It's almost half a gig. All right, so it's very large. And if we have no more need for editing the layers, if we're really done and we want to just kind of flatten this image, uh, one thing you can do is go back in Lightroom and export this out as a DNG file. A DNG file is, is Adobe's digital negative file. So if I go to File and I choose Export, this is the export module. So let's go down and take a look. You want to use a DNG, and you can choose the compatibility if you want. We can go maybe a little bit earlier than 7.1. That's fine. Um, don't rename it, and then we'll. This is important. We do want to choose the folder that the image originated from. This makes the whole process a little bit easier. So, this image originated from the uh, this folder here. It's dated. So we will select that folder, and I'll show you why in a second. No resizing. This is all fine. We can write key uh, wor keywords as Lightroom hierarchy. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and export this file out. Okay, Lightroom has exported the file. It's outside of Lightroom now, but we want to bring it back in. So it's back into our catalog. So let's go to Library. All right, so the way you re-import that file is you right-click on the folder, choose Synchronize Folder, and then we'll say, oh, there's a new photo in there. So synchronize that. It imports the file. And then just click on that folder again, and your your DNG is now imported into your catalog. So that leaves the PSD behind, which we don't need anymore. The file is huge. So if you right click, choose Remove Photo, delete from disk. Now go back to your folder and look. The file's gone. So you just save yourself. Uh, almost 500 megs, and your new file is much, much smaller, as you can see here. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can go uh, transitioning between Lightroom and Perfect Photo Suite 8, and I can keep your file sizes in check. So I hope this helped you guys.